Hey there, how you doing? This is Sam here with your latest product review. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about simple social tools. This is a tool that is going to be used to get highly targeted audience on Facebook without wasting your time 100% free. Now, is this really, really accurate or how accurate is it really? Okay, now let's get stuck into this video. Alright, so look now just before I get into the content of this video guys where I'm going to be talking about every single feature that's been mentioned here, do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe particularly if you like product reviews, um, course channel reviews, if you like marketing motivation and make money online, this is the channel for you. Alright, so I thank you very much for doing that. Go ahead and check that out. And if you want to check out some further free training, go ahead and click on the link below. It's going to take you to a webinar that I've put together that's going to show you the system that I use to earn 70% commissions and how to build a 10 plus thousand dollar per month business online. So now let's get stuck into this video. So when it comes to simple social tools, there are some pretty bold claims that they're making here if you ask me. Now, what am I actually talking about? So it talks to you about how to build a highly targeted audience on Facebook uh, without wasting your time 100% free. Now, do I believe that this is 100% true? No, <laughs> because Facebook are very, very good at guarding what it is that they do because so many marketers are very, very good at coming in, spamming the shit out of their system, and then people get sick and tired of them and they find a way to shut down these tools. But does that mean that you cannot get some of these results that they're talking about here? Um, no, that's that's not necessarily what I mean. Okay, now for a tool that actually only costs twenty seven dollars one time fee. Um, by the time you watch this video, it could potentially be higher. But at the at the making of this video, it's only twenty seven dollars one time. Okay, uh, for twenty seven dollars one time, it is a it is a very very handy tool for the right person. Okay, and I'll talk more about that as we go on as we go further along in this particular video. So. Uh, let's start breaking this down and what exactly it's talking about. Okay, so I've had simple social tools for a month and it's helped me get to 5,000 Facebook friends. Um, it is a lot of what it actually says, okay? And then after this, I'll actually go ahead and show you step by step each of the features that that, that it actually shows in here, okay? So 100% beginner friendly, yes, I would agree with that. Drag and drop install, yes, I would agree with that. Fully automated, no, it's not fully automated because you still have to click some buttons to um, to make it work each time that you want it to work, okay? But I would probably say it's like 95% automated. Can you target your audience? Yes, but to a very, very minor um, detail. Um, so what I mean by that is, uh, actually, I'll just save that for a little bit later on, okay? So can you use it on multiple profiles? Yes, in fact, you can. Um, works for any niche? Yes. Uh, simply gets results. Well, as long as the results mean that um, you can do the things that it says that it can do, then yes, absolutely. And it does. There's, is there a money-back guarantee? Yes, there is. There's actually a 30-day money-back guarantee, okay? So look, actually showing you how the pro, uh, how this uh, tool actually works, I'm going to start, I'm going to use it here myself so that you can see Okay, we're not going to be running full features here, but here's the five different ones. So send invites. So, <clears throat> excuse me, sending that means um sending invites for people to uh send send them to your face uh, fan page uh for people to actually like. Okay, now if you're not doing paid advertising, fan pages are a waste of time anyway. So, to be completely honest with you, I think that this is basically a waste of time. Um, but you know, if if that's something that you're gonna you're gonna be focusing on, then that's cool. But fan pages, basically at this time, this time are dead. Um, Facebook, uh, what's a lot more powerful is your personal profile um, and building uh, Facebook groups. Okay. So the second thing is adding friends. Yes, this 100% works. So let's go ahead and, and do this. Um, so say for example, if you're in the, the make money online niche, just like I am. Okay. So then what you want to what you probably want to do is find some sort of authority in a niche, um, a leader, so to speak. Um, and pa or perhaps maybe some content that resonates with you and you can add those people here. So as you can see here, focus on long-term progress over temporary setback. So people who like this kind of, um, who like this kind of post, so people who are business minded, they're probably entrepreneurs at heart, it's probably aspiring entrepreneurs is probably what I should say. Um, and these are probably people that, you know, it says here, focus on long-term progress, not temporary setback. So it really does speak in terms of like people who are committed more to the longer term uh, game. So these are probably the kind of people that I would want to add in terms of, because a lot of my profile is is based around what I do, right? Which is, which is an online business coach, bringing people into an online business opportunity. So if I'm just gonna go back here real quick, I probably lost that one now, um, but if I'm just going to scroll a little bit further until I find something else, um, and this this should help out. Okay, so 
bear with me here guys okay let's so let's just find uh something here we go so brad finch uh, French success is achieved by developing our strengths, not by eliminating our weaknesses. So look, it's got 82 likes. So this is a pretty good quote. I also like this one too. Um, so here's the thing with the simple social tools and what I mean by it's quite limited in terms of targeting people uh, for what you want to do. So the way you've got to do is you've got to click on the likes and it's going to load all of the all of the people in this particular that have liked this particular post. Okay, so what you can do here, so as you can see, um, uh, it's already probably done some adding for me. So what you can do is you click here, you click on add friends, and then it, it automatically populates here. So delay is how long you want in between each friend ad. Okay, so I'll just make five seconds for the purpose of this video. Um, at the total number of people that you want to add. So there were 82 people on this. Uh, so I'll just say like 50 because probably like half of them are my friends anyways. And then this one here is skip. So how many people do you want to skip so it doesn't seem unnatural, right? So it doesn't look like a machine, like you're just adding every single person that comes at you. So I'll just say, I'll skip three just for the sake of this. Then you click start. Okay. So here's what I mean while this is going ahead and finding and adding people for me. So it's so there you go it's found 30 people from this particular post that it's going to add okay we're taking these parameters into consideration um, and you can stop it at any time so whilst that's going ahead and adding people for me you can see here invites processed one it's already added one person for me so what i mean is that you can't actually choose from which of these people you want to target so for example you only want to target people in america australia new zealand canada philippines thailand whatever the case may be for you right you cannot target in that specific order which for me is very very valuable because a lot of business opportunities um, are very very geared towards a specific demographic and if you can't add those specific people it does make it a lot more uh, difficult Therefore, it makes this tool in terms of like what it says here. So this is something else that's actually pretty cool if you ask me, is that it can work in the background while you're working on other things. So when it says it is, um, uh, where is it? Target your audience? Yes, you can, but to a very limited degree, okay? And this was actually the reason I bought this tool, uh, but I'll explain a little bit further um, why it is that I, that I kept it. So if you're starting out, for example, in a business opportunity and you want to max out your profile, say for example, you've got, you have, you've got less than a thousand friends, less than 2000 friends, it, it takes a lot of time to add people um, to your, your, to your potential profile. If you do it, I guarantee probably within a week, you're going to be sick and tired of it. Okay. So what I would recommend to people is grab the tool, right? Go ahead and add your, uh, add, add yourself up to your 5,000 max friends and then start refining from there. So in other words, like, you know, people are going to naturally just qualify from your profile. I would say every week, I would say, you know, eliminate 10% of people from your profile. Um, you're probably going to find that, you know, there's probably 30 to 40% of people on your profile that aren't engaging with your content. You know, they're, they're not replying to any of your messages and so on and so forth. Okay. So you see here, I'm already at my 10,000 friend limit. Um, so what that actually means is that, uh, you want to, if, if, if you've already got like, say three and a half, 4,000 friends, then I wouldn't necessarily recommend this particular method or this tool. Okay. Because you can, at, at, when you're at that sort of capacity, you want to focus more on quality, not quantity. But when you're starting out and you really need to build your profile fast to start getting the word out there about your business or about your brand or whatever it is that you're trying to build, then this is something that could absolutely be helpful. Um, so let's just close that. Let's, let's stop that. Um, because we're, we're already at our at our max anyway. So it did actually add nine friends for me. Uh, but as you can see over here on my profile, I use this tool to get to my 5,000 capacity. As you can see here, I'm at 4,997 anyways, okay? Um, so the next uh, tool that, sorry, the next uh, ability that's got here is pending requests. So for me, this one's actually quite good, but it's probably something you don't want to use very often because I mean, for example, you might've just sent off these top nine requests here, like what it did for me. And then you're going to go ahead and use the pending requests right to eliminate all of them um, which kind of defeats the purpose if you know what I mean so this is probably something that you would probably only use say once every two or three weeks maybe even once a month just to eliminate these pending requests you know because you don't want for example you you don't want like 2,000 pending requests just sitting there because Facebook's gonna slap you sooner than you realize because it your profile comes off as spammy to them all right and Facebook does a great job of keeping as much spam as possible away from their platforms particularly from personal profiles because they know that's the gold in what it is that they do. But just to show you really quickly how it works, say for example, you had, you know, a thousand pending requests, you know, canceling them one by one is a pain in the ass, okay? So if I just click on this, it calculates all of the pending requests for me and then I'll just let it run for a minute to show you how quickly it can, it can eliminate some of these um, pending requests 
for me so in other words it does actually save quite a bit of time when it comes to mass adding friends so in other words sending out a lot of um, friend requests and a lot of them not coming through right I wish that um, social simple social tools would, would have a way of, of, of uh, refining this again meaning like it, it added on for example like I, I just want to eliminate any requests that I've sent you know more than a month ago and le leave the ones in the last sort of month or so leave them there and available so that you know I can I can continue to, to or possibly have an opportunity to connect with them but if the friend request has been sitting there for you know three months six months three years obviously they're ignoring you or they've gone and ignore your friend request which means it's never gonna come through okay so while this is counting because I didn't realize that there were actually this many here I'll just leave that there and we'll just go back a little bit a uh, little bit further so what does it mean my multiple profiles it means that yes you can actually create multiple Facebook profiles and you can use this particular tool on it for example um, my brother-in-law he, he's got his own business opportunity um, and he came up here and sat on my computer the other day whilst I showed him how to use this tool because the tool is actually a Google Chrome extension which means anyone that can log into Facebook over uh, Facebook here um, can actually go ahead and use the tool so you can see it here it's actually working pretty hard so a hundred look there's 329 pending requests and if I just close this I think at that point I pe I pressed probably 200 where it canceled 200 of them just like that and it was just a matter of seconds it takes it longer to add them all than it does to um, un un unfriend them, right? So look, request sent, request sent, request sent. That means all of these people here have now been unfriended from my Facebook profile, okay? So moving back to my personal profile, if we can indeed, there we are. Okay, and we'll look at the, the next um, actual uh, feature here that we've got, which is uh, like content. Okay, so this can actually go ahead and like a bunch of content for you. This is also another reason I bought the tool because I wanted to check it out thinking, this this could do a lot of engaging for me okay but as you can see here look like posts you can you can drag and drop like how many posts you want it to like so this is probably something that's really good to do I'd say during the day at some point in time particularly with profiles that you know aren't necessarily gonna have anything to do with you because as you probably know like look if you want more likes on your post, like more of other people's contents. If you want more comments, comment on more people's content. Okay, it's really quite that simple. So that's why this was built in to help build your engagement. So if I just click like here, it's not going to like every single post that comes up. Okay, because then again, Facebook uh, counts that as um, uh, spamming because you're, you're liking every single uh, post that comes up. But it will like some of these posts that come up. Okay, so if I'm, I'm just going to try and reduce this real quick so we can see what's actually happening. Um, so there you go. It's, it's skipping. It looks like it's skipping sort of every two, two posts and then it's, it looks like it's, and then it's liking the third post. Okay. Again, trying to add that human element. Now here's something else that I don't like. It likes advertisements, right? Which means more ads are going to show up, which for me is quite annoying. Um, but it also likes posts from groups that because they're showing up on your timeline, because by the time it's gone through like a hundred likes, you know, Facebook is running out of relevant content to show you. So it's starting to show you stuff from groups. You might actually see some here, but there you go. It's just like two posts in a row. Then it's probably going to skip one or two. Uh, let's just see what actually happens here. Skip that one. And it's thinking about this one. Nope, skip that one too. And there you go. See now, I love basketball, and it's gone and like that, right? Which is, I would, I don't like content in groups. Um, just, just me and just who I am and what I do. So you know, skipped that one. You know, which is actually people's content. It should really be skipping the ads and groups content. This is again another feature that I wish they would add. And so here you go. It's probably going to like something here. Um, so here's another. Um, Here's another post that's come up. Skip that one. See, for me, again, I would rather it, it, it liked people's uh, uh, content as opposed to liking ads and, you know, group content and stuff like that. That's honestly would be my preference. Um, so look, there, just like that, it's it's like seven posts, which technically means it should, seven, should send more likes to my profile, okay? But that isn't necessarily the case. Engagement is far more powerful than just likes, okay? Um, so if anyone's got a tool out there that, that you know, helps automate engagement, you know, I would love to see it. Um, I've been looking around, it's not easy, um, It does, and but it does actually take a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, time and effort and all that kind of stuff in terms of liking, commenting, and sharing people's posts and stuff like that, building engagement, okay? But look, for that there, it's just gone ahead and like 10 posts for me, okay? So I'm just gonna close that right there because I prefer to engage with people personally. In regards to liking uh, automated messages, so this is actually a, a pretty good tool, um, but at the same time, it's very, um, 
it's very, very limited in terms of what it does. So I'll just bring up, for example, here something that I've created and it's got welcome messages. So I, this is something that I started doing with, with regards to people that were brand new to my profile. Um, so I would send them this little message um, just to see if they, if it would help them engage a little bit further. But what I was finding to be quite frank is that the engagement was lower. And I think the reason being is that people know. Um, so look, you could message all people. In other words, you could kind of like just mass spam people, which I don't like. Um, or you could just message new friends only. So this is what I was actually trying. So <clears throat> this is this is uh, completely new. Actually, I've only just seen this for the first time. This is a good little ad. All right? I like this one because I used to always go back a month anyway. So um, if you do this, say, for example, like once a day or, or once a week or something like that, you know, you see, you click on these times and it automatically loads the time there as it's relevant to what you're saying. Uh, and then you go ahead and just add more and more messages. So Oh, sorry, the message is here. Let me block this out. Um, if there's anyone in particular that you want to ignore, say for example, they're fairly new and, and you don't want them to receive those messages, then you just go ahead and add that, okay? So adding this, uh, so that's that's fast code. Okay, so look, sorry, like I said, um, this, this is actually a brand new uh, feature to me in the way it had it before. So I'm just gonna add some more and then I'm gonna click on drag and drop through this. And then I'll go and add some more, drag and drop this. And look, if you actually want, uh, if you want this, um, this, this little file here, um, just let me know, man. I've created five um, custom messages just to send people out because you don't want the same message going out again and again and again. Because then again, the Facebook is going to pick it up as spamming, spamming and uh, you're going to get smacked for it. Okay, so you click on start and you'll see here it'll start sifting through all of the new friends that have been added to my profile within the last one week and it's going to send them one of these three messages. Now, the only thing is, like I said, um, I don't like this simply because... It, it showed me that when I when I actually engaged with a lot of these people, the return of engagement was very, very low. Um, and I think the reason being is, like I said, people can pick up on, on how simple this message is in, in, in terms of like, hey, um, you know, it's very simple. What is it? Hey, first name. Thanks for accepting my friend's request. How are you? You know, it almost comes across as spammy. Um, sir, sure as hell, don't send you, don't just like go ahead and send your link to these people. Very good way to get blocked by Facebook. Very good way to get blocked by people. Okay. So the best way to probably do it is go ahead and engage with people who are brand new to your um, market. Uh, sorry, who are brand new to your profile. So you can start connecting with them privately. But honestly, like I said, the, the results that I was getting from this particular uh, tool, uh, weren't very good and so I would I honestly wouldn't do it myself um, but if it's something that you feel would be valuable to you then yeah you know sure go for it but I, I certainly would I prefer to send private messages that are far more targeted um, to uh, to people uh, because it tends to engage with them a hell of a lot more if you know what I mean so as you can see here it's going through all my friends and kind of like the last week and it's finding that none of them are brand new in terms of me not having messaged them okay so you know what, um, unfortunately it is what it is, but that's how it works. And it will send up to 10 messages in the last whatever it is that I've clicked, or you can go longer, right? And you can go longer. Say for example, you're only gonna run this once a month maybe, then you know, that's cool. You can you're go, and hold, go ahead and do that. So that's basically it for simple social tools. Okay, this is Sam here. And you know what, I've actually made quite a bit of money from Facebook. Um, and if you would like to learn some legitimate methods on how to go about doing so, um, if you would like some help and some coaching, you know, go ahead and click on the link below. Um, again, it's gonna take you to that that webinar where it's going to teach you um, exact the exact system that I've used, you know, and I'm going to show you as well inside my private Facebook group and so on and so forth. It's going to give you access to all of those kinds of things so that you can start generating the thousands that I have on Facebook here in the last couple of months alone. Okay, so thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Take care, much love. Go ahead and make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next video.